today is the day. Sizzle leaves the homestead. All right, good morning. Moment of truth. So we've got, you know, the four cows here and way back there. I don't know if you can see, he's way back there. Um, the sizzle. Uh, today is the day that we are going to uh, try to get him in a trailer and uh, take him off. Um, we're going, we have a sale barn every week and I think we're gonna take him to the sale. Uh, what we've decided is with with our rotational grazing plan how our cows move from field to field uh, every week um, we're not able to, to to do that with him because uh, he, to be honest with you he breaks through the barbed wire or doesn't go in the lane uh, he still does not come to feed or anything like the other cow so how these four just kind of hang together he's like the lone wolf so he's a great cow it's going to be a real beefy be uh, bull but it, or a steer or whatever someone chooses to make him but um, He's just not for us. So uh, here at the Max Happy Homestead, he is going to uh, go to greener pastures, as they say. So I think what we're going to try to do is hopefully sell them. A lot of times during these the sale barns, especially for these little bull calves, uh, a lot of times they go to feed lots or, or feeder areas. Uh, that's going to fit in perfect because it's big open pastures and, and uh, they don't have to really move them too much. They just eat. So um, that's going to fit his bill pretty well. So I hope that uh, he finds a good home, but he needs to go from here. So. Um, what we will do is uh, hopefully, of course, these two cows are bred, but uh, we'll probably pick up another little either steer or another little calf to try to, to, to replace him just simply for meat uh, and try to grow him up and then have some meat for the freezer for this, this fall and winter. So um, he just needs to go. He's just too stressful for us, especially with rotational grazing. We're supposed to move them this week uh, to a new field, and I, I have to leave him over in that field, and that field can't heal like it needs to. Uh, it's growing grass, of course, but because he's in there, he's still manipulate it and I need him out but um, to try to move him uh, I'm afraid he's gonna just have barbed wire ripped and everything else so I'm actually get, I've got um, some cattle gates I'm gonna put up and we're gonna try to catch him in it and hopefully uh, be able to walk it into the trailer I actually normally when I when I milk Elsa every morning I give some feed to each cow some of the alfalfa extra that I have left over some of the other feed that I have left over just to give them a good little sweet uh, sweet feed in the mornings but um, I didn't do that this morning with him because I, he and he's been bellowing for it. So my goal is hopefully I'm gonna put that feed in the trailer, and maybe he'll kind of jump on in there. <laughs> Best case scenario, that probably will not happen because I know him. So uh, we'll see what happens when we start to load him up. But uh, just want to show you the cows this morning, eating good. There's Beauty, Daddy O, and Elsa, and of course Allie over there. We have been training. Allie in the stanchion. We did stanchion training again this morning after Milk and Elsa. Uh, she's doing really good. Uh, she's trying to kick the fire out of me, which is which is understandable. So uh, we every time she kicks, I try to place her leg back where it goes, and, uh, and she gets to eat a lot of good food. So hopefully she'll uh, she'll understand the importance of staying in the stanchion and and doing well. I haven't had to force her in. She's pretty much walked in right after Elsa, uh, which is a good thing. So. Uh, I hope you enjoy your rest of the day and uh, you can join us as we finish out our day. We're going to plant some blueberries. Um, we had a friend that um, came across some blueberries that a, a family were uh, just going to literally just bulldoze over. And he called and said, do we want them? So there are four huge blueberry plants, have blueberries all over them. So we're going to go ahead and get them planted today. All right, we started planting the blueberries. We got two big of the blueberries planted. Now you can see they're huge too. Look. That's one of them right there. Look at the got tons of blueberries on it I mean, it's it's about six foot tall um, Planted the other one right here in that little orchard now look at this man elderberry here is not working so we're gonna remove this elderberry and put it somewhere else the other two that we planted that there's a video on um, one by the chicken coop and one by uh, the crab apples and the other blueberry patch uh, are doing great so this one's not so we're going to get it up before it dies it looks terrible uh, and see if we can get it somewhere else and uh, uh miss mac's not going to be too happy about that all right that went a little quicker than i thought i was just to move the cow but i said well let's just go ahead and get the the holes open for these new blueberries but uh to be honest with you we were waiting on the trailer i got a buddy who's come to help me load this this cow and i got them all planted so you see that big one right there that stands about four foot tall this one's about three, three and a half, four foot tall. 
This one's about six. The mountain's probably a six and a half, seven over there. So we got a good bit of it done. Um, pulled up the elderberry and we'll get it moved too. But um, they're looking good. So that puts us having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 blueberries over here in the orchard and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 over there. So we have 26 blueberry bushes. Um, this year we look like we'll have probably a good total off of the ones, the older orchard, the ones about 4 or 5 years old. Uh, and then we, we off these, they're going to produce some some here. Uh, so we're, we're excited about that. So I'm, it's been a good morning. So let's go ahead and get sizzle loaded up. Moment of truth. Having a stare down with the trailer. He wants that feed, but he won't go to it. Trent, the cattle expert. Pulling off. Are you excited to be pulling off? Yes. Hey, yes. I am too. See you later, Sizzle. Happy homesteading, y'all. I'm so excited. I can't even say it. You say it. Happy homesteading, y'all.